guys, so today's video is going to be my IMAT haul. So yesterday I went to IMAT in Sydney and it was really good. It was really overwhelming because Sydney by itself is just so crazy all the time. Um, so it's a bit overwhelming for someone with anxiety. Um, but that's okay. I had a great day anyway. I spent way too much money and I'm going to share with you guys what I purchased. Oh yeah, and I'm getting into the Christmas spirit. If anyone knows me, you know that I set up my Christmas stuff in November. Uh, I like to make the most of the Christmas season and celebrate. Anyway, the first thing I got was... Seriously! The first things I'm going to show you are Dose of Colors liquid lipsticks. And the lineup for Dose of Colors was absolutely insanely long. So we were lined up for about 20-25 minutes, but... Let me tell you, it was freaking worth it. I got the shades Coral Crush, Merlot, which I'm wearing Merlot right now, and Stone. So I got three, these three shades, but I am dying over this Merlot shade. My application is probably not the best, but this is so pigmented and it was so easy to apply. And I'm just in love with this. This is going to be my perfect Christmassy red shade for the holiday season. So... I was so stoked to pick up these. If you can get your hands on any Dose of Colors products, I would highly recommend them. And Anna, the actual creator of Dose of Colors, was there with her husband. And she was really lovely. I didn't really speak to her, but she was taking photos with everyone. So she seemed so, so, so nice. So I'm so excited about these. Next up is a super raved about product. And we didn't think there would be any left, but... I got the Morphe 350 palette. So, I am wearing it on my eyes today. I created this like coppery um, champagne look and this is what it looks like. I didn't even look at it in the on the stand. I just lined up and we asked for two Morphe 350 palettes. When I refer to me, we, I mean Casey and I. It's amazing. Like they're so pigmented. I'm so impressed. Um, so keep your eye out for some tutorials coming with this one. I was going to film a tutorial this morning, but I just wanted to play around with everything first and sort of try it out and try a look. So if you guys like this look and you want to see a tutorial on it, just let me know and I will film one for you. But super exciting to get this palette because it's always out of stock and it's really sad because it's a beautiful palette. So I'm so excited I got my hands on this. I purchased three foundations, ugh, which I really didn't need, but I just couldn't help myself, and I'm such a foundation person, so I couldn't help it. When I saw the discounts and I saw what they had, I was just... couldn't help it. So first off, I got the Cogendo Aqua Foundation. I'm wearing this today. I'm going to see how it goes. Um, the colour seems to be quite good. The colour selection wasn't great, I'll be honest. I got the shade 143, and this is what the packaging looks like. It's a very, like, luxurious foundation. It's a glass bottle. It's got a pump, so that's good. And, yeah, I've just heard so many rave reviews on this and people who just love it, so I really just wanted to try it out. Um, I nearly didn't purchase this, but I went back in because with the iMat Special, I got this for $43 instead of $62, so that was amazing value. The next foundation that I purchased is the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops. So these are again something that have been highly raved about lately and I have been wanting to try them out for quite some time. So the bottle is just a 15ml bottle but and it's just like drops. It's just like pure pigment. So the purpose of this is supposed to be you can mix it with other products. You can mix it with primers or other foundations or moisturizers and create your own kind of concoction um, or you can wear this on its own and it's meant to be super full coverage so I got the shade G20 and I'm excited to give this baby a try um, if you guys do you guys prefer first impressions or like reviews with a demo because um, I would love to know what you guys would like to see and I'm planning on doing like reviews on these foundations. And the final foundation that I purchased is the Makeup Forever Ultra HD foundation. So I have four shades of the original HD foundation, um, but obviously they've come out with the new Ultra HD and I wanted to try this one out. So the shade I got is 
Y245, which is the equivalent to the shade 120 in the old colors. So I'm going to try this one out. This is one of the foundations that I use on my clients when I do freelancing. Um, this and the Nars Sheer Glow, they're like my go-tos. So I'm excited to give this one a try. And I believe this one was 40 Three forty-four, around forty-five dollars. I didn't mention what price we got the cover drops at. Um, I think they were thirty-eight dollars, which is such a bargain. Next, I got some Mac stuff because the Mac Pro stand was there, and let me tell you, they were sold out of so many things. Um, I wanted to get either soft ochre or painterly. I asked the girl for, and they were sold out of both. Um, they were sold out of copper sparkle pigment which I was going to get as well. So I ended up just getting four things. I got a new fix. Plus spray because mine's nearly run out so I thought I'd repurchase one while there was 20% off and then I got three shades of my beloved MAC Pro Longwear Concealer so I purchased NC15, NC25 and NW20 um, the main reasons for getting NC25 and NC15 were for my freelancing um, as I've said I don't do freelancing anymore but I do where I used to live I created like quite a reputation for myself and it was quite popular so for example next year I've got a wedding in February so I just want to make sure I have the correct colors in my kit just in case I do do people's makeup it's just handy to have the colors on hand so I purchased these three and yeah the last things I purchased from iMats are from makeup stores so I got this eye dust in the shade Lounge, which is like a beautiful gold pigment. I'm going to use this for a Christmas tutorial. So exciting. And then I got a glitter in the shade Orion. Ooh, it says do not apply around eyes. I was planning on using this for my eyelids, but... Hmm. And this is just like a pearlescent kind of glitter, which I didn't have any shades of that. And then I got a lip liner in the shade Nude Beauty. So just a standard lip liner, but these lip liners felt super soft and creamy. If I can even get it out. Hello. So yeah, just a standard lip liner. I've never tried anything from Makeup Store, but I've seen some people use it and the products look really nice. So... I thought I would pick a few things up and they had like the pigments were $13 or so so it was really affordable and then the lady threw in a free little eye eye a little cosmetic sharpener for me so that was really nice so that is all I got from eye mats but I did make a mecca purchase online um, a few days ago so I'm going to show you the two things that I bought from mecca so the first thing I got was this Stila Eternal Love Liquid Lipstick Set. So it comes with three little liquid lipsticks. They're just miniature size. But when you think about a liquid lipstick, you don't go through a whole... Like whoever uses a whole liquid lipstick. It will take you a long time. So I decided to get this little set. It was $29, which I think is such a bargain. So if you're looking for something to get um, a lipstick lover for Christmas, I would highly recommend this Stila set. I wore the shade Barchi, which is the like light um, mauve purpley kind of shade um, the other day and it lasted so long. It was so comfortable to wear and I absolutely loved it. So I picked this baby up and I'm very impressed. And the next thing I got, I'm like <sighs> so in love with this product. And I'm not sure, you know when you get a product and you're like, how did I live without this? Like, what did I do? I got the NARS Stephen Klein One Shocking Moment Palette. So, you ready? Dun, 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 dun. Ah, it's so amazing. So, basically you get Laguna, you get a contour and highlight shade in Paloma. So, this little duo is called Paloma. Then you get four blushes. So, you get... Robotic, Blasphemy, Luster, and Dolce Vita. So this is like such good value. I paid $100 for it and I've already tried Laguna. I've got three separate NARS blushes already and I absolutely love them and I barely ever go through them. Like I haven't hit pan and I've had my NARS blushes for so long. So I thought this palette would be absolutely perfect. I tried Laguna, which I already had, which is amazing. I tried the contour shade. Um, it's a little bit dark, so if you have fair skin it might be a little bit hard to use, but it's still really nice. The highlight shade is absolutely beautiful. 
Um, and I've used this blush here, which is the robotic blush, which is really pretty. And this blush here, which is Luster, which I'm in love with. I've got it on today. I don't know if you can see it. But this palette is seriously giving me life right now. I'm so happy I got it. Um, and I could not recommend it more. Like, it's such good value. And look at that packaging. Like, that is so stunning. I'm obsessed. So I would highly recommend this product from Mecca. It is absolutely freaking amazing. So that is it for my haul. I feel like I got so much and spent so much money, but I feel like this video wasn't very long, but it probably is. So I'm going to wrap it up. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down below if you want any reviews or anything like that. I'll be happy to take in your requests and I hope you guys have a fantastic day and I'll see you soon. Bye.